Thank you for tuning in to No Flag Radio. I'm your host, P. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and definitely don't forget to tweet me below. Today we have a special guest. He is the co-producer of the Emmy-nominated documentary, Crack in the System, and he's a practicing attorney, graduated from UCLA and Loyola Law School. When he's not producing documentaries or writing for outlets like the Huffington Post, you can definitely check out his site, tonetalks.org, and you can also donate there as well. One thing we know about this guy is that he always brings us data, and hopefully he'll share some of that data with us today. His name is Antonio Moore. How are you doing, Antonio? Tone is celebrating right now. You know? Because Tone got that data. Tone gave you the data. He told you that Bitcoin wasn't going to help you. You're in an Uber. You got to ride an Uber. You know? For everybody that lost money with BitConnect. I'm sorry. Tone is sorry, but Tone gave you the data. You know, your uncle is sitting at home on the couch. Waiting on his medicine to come by Uber. He got to wait on Uber. You know? But see, Tone got the data. Tone gave you the data. So right now, you know, I hate to I hate to rub it in. But Tone got to bring you that data. How you doing, Tone? Well, I thank you for coming by, Tone. I just wanted to talk about a few things. I see you are kind of having a bit of a... And I told you so, party, as pertains to BitConnect, you've been warning about the volatility, the unsurety, the non-liquid aspects of cryptocurrency and how for melanated people, it may not be viable for us to stake our salvation on it at this point in time because it's not regulated. There's not many safeguards in place that guarantee certain payouts if things were to happen and so forth and so on. So I just want to let you know that I did agree with you when you were saying that. I know you've got the data. Right, because Tone got the data. And there's no beef with me and Dr. Boyce. We love Dr. Boyce, you know. But Tone was here to tell you. Tone showed up, you know. So for everybody out there wanting to be a part of Bitcoin, BitConnect, any of these cryptocurrencies, it's just not possible right now. We got to look at the whole picture. We're looking at hookworms in Alabama. We're looking at Flint water. We're looking at a president that's telling you black lives don't matter. We're looking at a tax reform bill that favors the rich. And while your grandma is eating that Bama jam sandwich, Tone got the data. Tone know that you're depending on Uber. And Uber not going to help your mama and grandma stop eating them Bama jam sandwiches. You know, I want to take a caller while I'm on the phone with you, P. Let's bring up a caller right now. Let's bring him up. Go right ahead, Tone. I'll keep you plugged in here. Caller, thank you for tuning in to Tone Talks. Who am I speaking with? Calling out of Pembroke Pines, Florida. I, mean, I just want to say, man, you know, you you showed to me back with that when you were saying uh, the cryptocurrency wasn't going to work. Let me ask you, Larry. If all the cryptocurrency in the world all of a sudden suddenly shut down tomorrow, how you going to get your money out, Larry? Because what they telling us, you can make $4,000 in two weeks. They telling us you can make all these kind of returns, but they don't explain to you how that money is being generated. How are you going to move that money? How are you going to move your money, Larry? If you need, uh, uh, if your kid get a broken bone in her finger and you need to take her to the hospital, that's a $2,000 tip of the finger. Can you gamble on BitConnect or Bitcoin or any of these other outfits? Larry, I'm asking you, Larry, can can you do it? Could you do it today? Man, hell no, man. And, you know, the funny part about it is you will wonder why they would even present something like this to the public. It's made to get your hopes up, in my opinion, uh, from what I can see, and basically have you 
throwing your money that you don't have. But Larry, but Larry, Larry, but Larry, Larry, we got to put this in perspective, Larry. And I thank you for calling. When you're talking about some of the most world renowned investors saying that they don't keep cryptocurrency. You got to start looking at what chance do you stand? A novice investor, a novice investor at best to build a portfolio with some money you can't ever touch, basically, in cryptocurrency. This is not like playing the stocks. Stocks is federally regulated. You got payouts. You have ownership. I don't care about what other people do. I care about what our people do. Trump's tax bill is real. Have you read it, P? Uh, Yes, I've read through a great majority of it. Yes, I have. And from my opinion, it seems like it's making the rich richer, allowing them to keep more credits on their taxes, claim more benefits on their taxes, and it takes away a whole slew of credits for people who are not in the higher tax bracket, the 39.5% bracket. So, yes, indeed, I see how this is going to hurt people who have college loans, hurt people who have been depending on education credits, hurt people who've been depending on various other credits. So, it's no joke. We have a wealth gap that doesn't allow us to play in the pie in the sky world, in the fantasy world. Skylar and Susie from the middle class white family, they can do that. They can play with their money. They're playing in the wealth that they stole off of our backs transgenerationally. They're in Orange County. So Skylar and Susie, they can do that. You're in an Uber. You're in an Uber. And Tone got the data. Tone gonna bring you the data. I, I hate to hate to break it to you, but we gotta start making some real tough decisions. And Bitcoin ain't one of them. BitConnect ain't one of them. Cryptocurrency ain't one of them. Yes, indeed. Now, Tone, I can't help but notice you change L.A. hats like a man would change his underwear. Every time I see you, you have on another L.A. hat. Well, that's one thing that Tone definitely got. You know, Tone got the data. You know, Tone got a lot of L.A. hats, too. You know, I can't rock the paper bag head like you, though. I got to look a certain way when I'm presenting this data. You know? Got it. It was just something that I noticed. So, did you want to take some more phone calls, Tone? Thank you for tuning in to Tone Talks. Yeah, what up, Tone? It's PDGAF, man. No, I got PDGAF on the phone with me right now. He on Skype with me right now. Who is this on the phone right now? Yeah, man, I'm PDGAF, man. I'm the dude who he called in to do long commentary. Sometimes I don't do the interviews. I just do the long commentary. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then what's your question? Seeing we got you on the phone right now. Anything you care to add to the conversation about? We can talk about it all. BitConnect, Bitcoin, relationships. We talking about it all. Tone got the data for all of that. All right, man. So I got this chick, right? And, you know, we've been together for a little bit. And... Before we really got serious, you know, she was just a fuck. She was a chick I literally used to just fuck on the flow, you know what I mean? Whenever she came by, I would fuck her on the flow. Good times, bad times, she could get fucked on the flow, right? Remember one time my electricity got cut off and shit, going through some things and shit, and I would still fuck her on the floor, you know what I mean? So now time done moved on, we doing good, we doing better and shit. And I'm trying to, you know, start my investing and things. I got some things like that opening up that I'm going to be playing with. But she seems to have this taste to just spend all this money. So I try to beat her over the head with the concept that, look, you remember I used to fuck you on the floor when I ain't had no electricity in my apartment. You used to get fucked on the floor. So I've been trying to kick the game that you be kicking, like, you know, about our situation and about us. As black people, having negative net worth and all of this, she ain't trying to hear that, man. How do I keep her reminded of the fact that I used to fuck her on the floor with no electricity in the house and everything was good? I'll take my answer off the air because I know you'll hang up in a motherfucker face quick after they get through talking and shit. But peace, I love the show, man. I love your work and 
Keep up the work, bro. Peace. Well, thank you for calling in, PDGAF's cousin. And look, negative net worth, the middle black family, and all that that's in the hands of boomers, it's not making you money out the Uber. None of that's going to help us. You got to let her know that, look, this money is something that came from a tree, and we're trying to keep it in a tree. We're trying to build a legacy. I agree with you on that tone. Building a legacy is one of the more neglected ends of black community building. We usually try to focus on the immediate, but looking into our future should be our starting point, in my opinion. We're trying to have something that our kids can have and our kids' kids can have. So we don't have to be cut short and worried about what a president going to do, what a governor going to do, what a municipal city manager going to do. You know, because Tom got the data. The data says that at a local politic level, there's racism. There's all sorts of things that could derail a well-intended black family unit. And I can't say it enough how we're being targeted. I agree with you, Tone. And you've brought up in the past hookworms in Alabama the Flint water crisis, can you bring up some other things that we should bear in mind that are clear-cut examples of this racism that you speak of? Okay, I'm going to give you this right now. Water. I don't know nobody that can live without water. The data shows 99% of Americans take for granted things like taking a bath, taking a long shower, drinking water, I want to give you some facts real quick. You know I bring the data. You know Tone got the data. If I come on your show, P, and I bring you a two-piece and a biscuit, you know what I'm going to bring you on top of that? Uh, what would you bring, Tone? I'm going to make you wash it down with some data. This article came from Essence Magazine. Now, you know, I really don't, I don't really deal with Essence, but when I see data... You know, Tone's going to go crazy when he sees data. So, we got Trenton, New Jersey. A report from the New Jersey education officials report that 21 of the school districts have elevated levels of lead in the drinking water. This is, this is murder at your kid's school while you at work. Now, they don't tell you what districts are affected, but I'm willing to guarantee you that they're not putting lead and leaving lead in the pipelines where the white kids are. Let's just say that. They're even saying that there's two counties that have a higher population of children, of children with lead levels in their body, higher than those children in Flint, Michigan, right now, today. That's interesting. You would think that at the schools would be one of the first places that would be checked for lead violations and water issues of this nature. Chicago, nearly 80% of the properties in Chicago are hooked up to service lines that are made of lead. This is brain damaging metal. This is stuff that can affect your health and put your life in jeopardy. The data shows that these are violations. These are violations. Approximately 18 million Americans live in communities where the water systems are in violation of the law. And they keep comparing these places to Flint. So you know Flint is a targeted thing. That's about black people. This war on water is a war on black people. So if your woman don't understand the data, the terrain of warfare that we in, I don't know what to say. You got to keep beating her over the head with it, as you say. It's not going to get better. Unless y'all get political. And you know Tone always says to get political. They want you to have so much lead in your brain that you don't want to get political. But Tone got the data. Tone wants you to be political. This is the data. Tone going to bring you the data. Yes, I think that's a very good point of advice, Tone. And I'm sure our viewers will take heed to what you're saying because you've got the data. Yeah, I hope all the data that I brought today was a help for the callers and definitely have me back on. We definitely will indeed, Tone. Once again, I think this was a great show. Thank you all for tuning in today. We have our No Flag t-shirts coming very soon, so be on the lookout for those. We'll keep you abreast of when they're out of production. 
and we think you're going to enjoy what you see. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and definitely don't forget to tweet me. Below. I'll get it y'all later.